Shrub Team here, coming at you with another video in my car. I'm on the roll again, on the roll again. And this video uh, is from a, you know, from a subscriber, a question from a subscriber. He wanted to know, um, uh, something that I thought that was very important and it's a question that he asked so this video goes out to uh, a guy named Dave I'm not gonna put his whole name out there but the first name is Dave you know who you are this this is a response to what you uh, wanted to know the day wanted to know um, do I recommend men get married in this climate today that we live in in the United States of America and <clears throat> here's the deal I'm a little bit torn uh, because I'm not anti-marriage I believe in the union of marriage but here's the deal um, it's not it's the people that get together and this is why marriages don't work the union of marriage the concept of marriage is still the same the, the union of marriage two people two families merging together to form a new family a new union the concept hasn't changed what has changed is the mindset of people. This is why most marriages fail here in America. Now, I'm not going to say don't get married. I'm not going to say that. But what I will, the question that I, I, that I usually ask is why are you getting married and what are you hoping to get out of the, out of the marriage? If you're getting married for love, that's not enough anymore. That's not enough anymore. As a matter of fact, I went to a wedding uh, about about five months ago during the summer, summertime where I lived, and it was a preacher that uh, got married a couple and the, the, the preacher kept it real he was like love itself is not enough to keep a marriage together he kept it real and, and, and that you know that's very rare for a, 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 a preacher a pastor to say anything like that he kept it 100 love in, in itself it's not enough to keep uh, couples together. But that's not something that's common. You don't hear people talk like that. You don't hear anybody talk like that, especially a preacher or a pastor. So what I would say is, why are you getting married? What are you hoping to get out of this marriage? Uh, what's the purpose? And how you living? I mean, what what are you doing to uh, make to earn income, to make a living? I mean, what's the purpose of you even coming together with this person? Why this person, man or woman? Why them? Why? I mean, what's so special about them? Why or why 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 did you choose that that person specifically to get married to? 
these are the questions that you have to ask yourself. Well, you, you should, I don't know, I would say you should ask, in my opinion, humbling opinion, before you get married to anybody. What, um, what, what plans do you have? I mean, because if you don't, if you don't plan, you, you plan to fail, basically. You, you can't be passive when you get married. You, I'm not saying you, sh you should have the, uh, I'm not saying you, you're going to be able to plan everything, but that's why I always ask, what's the purpose of you getting married? Is it, everything can't be based on how you feel. It, it just can't be, you know, because getting married is one of the biggest decisions you ever make in your life. You know, it, it really is. So, you, everything can't just be based on how you feel. It can't. I mean, if it is, it's probably going to fail. You're, you're probably going to have a failed marriage. It's probably going to fail miserably. And this is why a lot of marriages fail because there's no foundation behind most people's marriages. There's no foundation. There's, um, you know, people don't really never really had a concept of why they wanted to get married in the first place. Everything is based on emotion and feelings. So marriage, it still c can work. It still does work here in America. But in today's time, um, the, the, uh, the success rate in these big cities, especially, it's, uh, it's terrible. It's horrible. Now, if you live in a small town, that's a little bit different. And that's small town living. See, I think people that live in small towns, I think they, you know, they have a different mindset. They kind of, if you're in a small town, it's, you have less distractions. See, in a big city, people have too many goddamn options. And see, here's the deal with most people. People do what they got to do when they have to. So if you know that, hey, we got to make this thing work, there's no plan B. There's no other options. And they'll find a way to make it work. But if divorce is an option, it's probably not going to work out. You know? So... With all that being said, I don't tell people, don't do it. But I say, the odds of you having a successful marriage is slim to none. Everything is set up against it to be successful. Everything is set up for you to fail. And a lot of people don't realize that. They think everything is, is set up for them to win. That's what I think a lot of people think, really. Because the very, people are very passive. They don't plan. They don't execute. They don't, you know, they have an entitlement attitude. You know, you got two people that's not on the same page. And then you got some people. Um, I don't think marriage is just is a good deal for them. I think some guys sh just shouldn't get married at all. Like some entertainers, some celebrities, I don't think they should get married. Like, for example, somebody like Floyd Mayweather, I don't think Floyd Mayweather should ever get married. I, I just don't just don't see why. You know, I think some guys should get married. And, it, it, and it, it's going to depend on the guy's lifestyle, how he's living, how he earned money. But it's just some guys, I know marriage is just not going to work out for them. It's just not going to work. It's not going to, it's not going to, it's just not going to work. You know, marriage, it takes a lot of discipline. And it really depends on how the guy's living too. If he's kind of an adventurer, entrepreneur, somebody that, somebody that moves around a lot, like me, I think, uh... It's, it's probably going to be very, it's very difficult for somebody like me. 
you know, somebody that uh, that's an athlete, an entertainer. It, it's very difficult to be in a long-term relationship. A woman has to be very understanding and very supportive. And most women don't have the mental capacity to deal with what comes along with that. You know, it's like a lot of women think they want to be with an athlete. They think they want to be with an entertainer until it happens. And then they're about to lose their goddamn mind. You know, because it's just a different way of earning, a different way of living, a different mindset versus getting what versus her getting with a guy that work a nine to five job. And come home every day. And you sitting on the couch. Looking at television. And you. You, he, you cook him some dinner. He eat. Go to sleep. You fuck. You suck. You wake up the next day. Go to work. Come home. Do the same shit over again. That's a different. That's a completely different way of earning. Different way of living. Different mindset. Some women. That's just be honest. Some women are used to. Most women grew up looking at that. Most women don't get with athletes, entertainers, guys that's in the military, entrepreneurs, guys that, you know, travel for a living and earn, that's how they earn the majority of their money. Most women don't grow up seeing that. They didn't, their parents wasn't like that. So it just depends on the guy. So I don't say don't do it. You know, I still believe in the mar in the union of marriage. The concept it still works, but the people that get involved, they're just just not qualified to be together in most cases, man. You know. But that's so that's what it is, man. So if you like what you heard, man, share this video, subscribe, go to my website, chooseyourrelationships.com, check out my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash sharp game, get all the gear and my website. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.